Komodo dragons are impressive and formidable lizards. Their strong, muscular frame and powerful, thick tails add to the intimidating look of their lumbering gait. Growing up to 10 feet or 3 meters in length or weighing on average 150 pounds or 70 kilograms, Komodo dragons are the largest lizards in the world. They are also venomous, releasing venom into their prey with a single bite. Their sharp, serrated teeth are used to tear huge gaping wounds into any unlucky victims. If the animal survives the initial attack, the Komodo dragon can track it over many miles using its expert sense of smell. They sense prey by flickering their forked tongue in and out of their mouths, and they possess a Jacobson's organ. This is located in the roof of their mouths and helps them detect chemical stimuli from miles away. This allows them to hone in on injured animals as it grows weak from venom. Blood loss, low blood pressure, and the inability of the blood to clot all induce shock and ultimately death in the prey. Komodo dragons have been around for millions of years but are now considered endangered with a very small geographical range. Although it is believed that they evolved in Australia, Komodo dragons are now confined in the Indonesian islands of Komodo, Rinka, Flores, and Gili Motang. But could they survive elsewhere? Could they survive on the Brazilian island of Snake Island? To answer this question, we need to consider what food is available to the dragons on this island and whether the habitat and climate are suitable for their existence. Snake Island is a deadly place. Except for a few select researchers and the Brazilian Navy, no one is allowed to set foot there. This is for their own safety and that of the island's limited wildlife. It is a small island located approximately 20 miles off the coast of Brazil. Its name is given due to the large number of golden lancehead pit vipers. These venomous snakes are critically endangered and, given the sanctuary and isolation of the island, have grown to overwhelming numbers on the island. They have been trapped there since the last ice age, when rising sea levels cut off the island from mainland Brazil. The snakes have adapted and evolved to feed on migrating birds that land on the island. Komodo dragons consume up to 80% of their body weight in a single sitting. The largest of these lizards ever recorded weighed a massive 366 pounds, or 166 kilograms. Although this was a captive bred specimen, it would have required 290 pounds or 130 kilograms of meat to sustain it during mealtime. So, is there enough food for the Komodos on Snake Island? The only predators currently living on the island are the pit vipers. These snakes take advantage of migratory seabirds that land on the island. They mostly hunt in the small rainforest section of the island, hunting in the trees for any unsuspecting birds. They have evolved over thousands of years and have developed extremely potent venom in order to kill the birds quickly without them being able to fly away. It is said that their venom can kill a human in under an hour. So, good luck to anyone unfortunate enough to shipwreck on this deadly island. There are thought to be two to 4,000 vipers on the island, and at their most dense location, there is reportedly one snake in every meter. There are no other animals for the snakes to feed on, so it is very unlikely that Komodo dragons would find enough food. Even if they managed to avoid the pit vipers and their venomous bites, they probably wouldn't be able to survive on seabirds alone. Young Komodo dragons are known to eat birds and bird eggs, but these wouldn't be enough for an adult. Of course, if Snake Island was turned into a Komodo dragon sanctuary and stocked with enough prey animals to sustain a population of dragons, then the climate and habitat would need to be taken into account. Most of the island is covered in open grassland, interspersed with rocky outcrops. There is a small area that is covered in rainforest. In the Lesser Sundar Islands, where Komodo dragons are endemic, the habitat preferred by the giant lizards is mostly dry, open grassland savanna and rainforest. The young often climb trees to search for prey and remain hidden from potential predators. The small rainforest on Snake Island would provide suitable habitat for the young dragons and the open grasslands for the adults. But the small size of these areas would likely only support a small population of Komodos. In the wild, Komodo dragons have a large territory. This means the island would only be suitable for very few dragons 
if any. Studies have recorded home ranges to vary as much as 170 to 530 hectares, which is far greater than the size of the island at 43 hectares. So, although the habitat may be favorable for dragons, the size would be seriously limiting. And that's not all. The climate of Snake Island differs from the Lesser Sundas. The Komodo dragons are used to temperatures ranging from 18 degrees Celsius or 60 degrees Fahrenheit to 37 degrees Celsius or 99 degrees Fahrenheit. The rainfall they endure varies throughout the year as the Lesser Sundas has a tropical wet and dry climate with a clear rainy season from December through to March. The Komodo region is the driest in Indonesia, with annual rainfall averaging 800 to 1,350 milliliters per year. This means that the dragons are used to far more rainfall than what's available on Snake Island, which is minimal in comparison. Rainfall on the Brazilian island ranges from 0.2 milliliters, which is less than a tenth of an inch in July, to 135 milliliters, or 5 inches in December. In comparison, temperatures are relatively mild on Snake Island, reaching lows of 18 degrees Celsius or 64 degrees Fahrenheit in August to 27 degrees Celsius or 81 degrees Fahrenheit in March. The climate and weather of the island might not be the only thing that could prove unsuitable for Komodo dragons. Given the isolated nature of the island, the snakes that currently live there are increasingly under threat from inbreeding and low genetic diversity. This means if a disease enters the island from seabirds or people who venture there, then it could sweep through and decimate the snake population. The same could be true for Komodo dragons. Scientists have found that snakes evolved from lizards and are therefore more advanced in the evolutionary journey. However, Komodo dragons are thought to be the most intelligent lizards alive, rivaling some mammals. Having a low genetic diversity amongst more intelligent animals can have significant implications for the species. Without the ability to reproduce with other Komodo dragons outside their home range, the lizards would develop this low genetic diversity from inbreeding. This puts them at significant risk, and with today's ever-changing global climate, they would be less likely to adapt to environmental changes that came their way. There is also the potential threat of the deadly golden lancehead pit vipers. The high number of vipers could prove deadly for the Komodos. The snakes typically prey on small animals, such as perching birds, lizards, and even other vipers, but would deliver a venomous bite if threatened or trotted on. But this may not be a problem for Komodo dragons, as they possess genes that make them immune from their venom. So, during fearsome conspecific battles, the dragons are unlikely to succumb to the venom of their opponent. This may also make them immune from pit viper's venom, which holds anticoagulant properties similar to that of the Komodos. In conclusion, although the habitat of Snake Island might be appealing to Komodo dragons, the very nature of the island would prove uninhabitable for these giant lizards. Its isolation would, after generations, likely prove fatal to the dragons. They would lack a sustainable food source, unless they were able to develop predatory skills to catch the passing seabirds like the snakes have. Even then, the birds probably wouldn't provide enough nourishment for these giant reptiles. Overall, we do not believe that Komodo dragons could survive on Brazil's Snake Island. But what a deadly island it would be for any adventurer who landed on its shores if both Komodo dragons and Golden Lancehead pit vipers lived there. That's all for today! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.